Perhaps it's because of all the excitement, but my head started to hurt. After leaving Gonzo's place, I stumbled towards Central Boulevard. My consciousness was muddled. I let the headache run its course. My headache's finally gone. My mind is clearing up. This complex, connected sensation felt akin to that of passing the baton off to someone else. It's only recently that I've become aware of the existence of Azai Kioske, my other half. When I, Mao, am not acting openly, Azai Kioske works to support me. This only strengthens my belief that this kidnapping plan will surely succeed. Now then, I dial a number on my phone. Needless to say, that number belonged to Tsubaki's residence. Someone picked up immediately. You didn't contact the police, did you? Although I'm confident in my ability to change my voice to a certain extent, I still use a voice changer to be extra certain. <coughs> it would be incredibly troublesome if my natural voice was analyzed. The police might already be at their house, tracing this call literally as we speak. <laughs> really? Good. And then I hung up. I'm not stupid enough to just trust someone else's words. I know that it takes about three minutes to successfully trace a call. When the criminal places a call, the detectives can contact the technical staff at the telephone company and run a check on all the circuits governing the area containing Tsubaki's house. Then, by confirming the status on a certain switchboard, they can specify the uh, caller's location. If the length of the call is sufficient, uh, they can detect anywhere from a general range within which uh, the call is being made to calculating the specific phone number used. Also, if the criminal calls from the same area as the victim's family, it takes less time to search the circuits. But if it's long distance, which requires several switchboards to route the call, it would take longer to trace the number. However, if the call goes by way of the recent electronic digital switchboards, they'll know where it came from in an instant. So I took the safest possible course of action. Just now I placed the call from my cell phone. Since I was moving during the call, even if the police have my specific location, I'll have gotten away before they can rush over here. This cell phone is itself a disposable model, so it'd be meaningless to confirm the owner. Once more, I dialed the number for Tsubaki's house. After this, I'll call two more times. Before then, be sure to prepare pen and paper. She's probably flustered from the sudden direction. You're not allowed to ask any questions, understand? I cut the connection. If there is a detective next to Tsubaki, he should instruct her to draw out the call. Why would a kidnapper actually acquiesce to such demands? Anyway, I should change my location. I don't think those short conversations will allow them to track my location, but there is no harm in being extra careful. I'm now near my home. This place should use a different switchboard to route the call. No matter what, I must prevent the police from interfering. I call on my cell phone. Again I hear Tsubaki's crying voice. <coughs> I already told her that questions were not permitted, but I guess she is too worried to care right now. Before instructing you on how to hand over the ransom money, I'll say this one more time. I persistently repeated the same command. Don't contact the police. If there's any sign of police presence, I'll cancel the trade and your brother won't come back. Do you understand? Not having the police involved is an absolute condition. Why do kidnappers on TV and in mystery novels always try to fight the police? Naturally, it's to make the stories more entertaining. But in real life, no kidnapper has managed to successfully escape the police with a ransom. No crime carries more risk than kidnapping. Even if, e if I even find a trace of the police, I'll cancel the trade. That's what I've decided. The most crucial point in performing a, su a successful crime is understanding when to pull back. Her painful cry grated my ears. If she's lying, then she must be a top-level actress. Very good. In that case, wait for my next phone call. A break of the connection while continuing forward. I'll change my location again. 
Silence blankets the shoreline at night. They ought to be growing impatient right about now. This is the last confirmation. When someone picked up, I didn't use the voice changer. Instead, I just changed my own pitch. Hello? Is this the Miva residence? Hi. I am Takano of the Special Investigation Unit. Can I speak to Detective Tomita? There was a pause. I focus all my attention to my ear. Well, Officer Tomita should be the female officer in charge of one-side investigations there. I can hear hectic noises in the backdrop. That exchange satisfied me. From Tsubaki's reaction, it's very hard to imagine a detective standing next to her. I used the voice changer again. Looks like you did as I said and didn't contact the police. If you had said something like, hold on a second, your brother would have left this world by now. The police would never call a family victimized by a kidnapping in order to get in contact with a co-worker. Naturally, they're provided with special wireless phones to keep in touch. This is indeed a cheap trick that anyone in their right mind would quickly see through, but for someone in Tsubaki's state of mind, it's more than enough as a test. That's good, make sure to keep it up, though after getting a glimpse of the special gift you should be receiving shortly, I doubt you'll even think about contacting the police anyway. Ignore her question. Now then, I'm going to start explaining how to hand over the ransom money. Do you have pen and paper ready? Now that I know I'm not being traced, I can speak freely. First, prepare the ransom as stock certificates. Change the 50 million into stocks before tomorrow evening. Buy shares of a company called Shiratori Construction. It's one of Sano Corporation's subsidiaries and the company which runs your school. 50 million yen should get you 50,000 shares. Due to her experience with the diary writing, Tsubaki jots down the directions with incredible speed. After you've prepared the 50 million yen in stock certificates, please have Usami Haru stand in front of your house at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. I will contact Usami Haru on her cell phone with your next instructions. She seems desperate to write this down. These directions probably make no sense at all to Tsubaki. But she'll find out soon enough. That is all. If I don't see Usami Haru by 6 o'clock, the deal is off. As long as you follow my directions, I return your brother to you. I'm a professional kidnapper. I'll keep my promise if I receive my money. Do you understand? I give her a little enticement at the very end. I plan on her designating Tsubaki to hand over the ransom. But before that, I need to make sure Tsubaki will follow my orders absolutely. After breaking off the call, I stroll down the seaside. There is no one around. The air is quite chilly. The moon gently rocks back and forth on the water's surface. Up to this point, it's been perfect. And my headache acts up yet again. So I guess whenever he has a headache, he changes personality, so... First thing the next morning, my cell phone suddenly rang. Still dazed and sleepy, I woke up. What's up, Aki? What time is it? It seems like Tsubaki has been trying to reach me for a while now. The sun hasn't even ri risen yet. I got home at around 2 this morning. That means I only slept for 2 hours. What is it? Slow down, calm down, calm down and say it slowly. My head still hurt from being awoken by this racket. Wait, stocks? Not cash? Which stock? <coughs> That's right, Shiratori's father is the director of our school. But why Shiratori construction? And Usami is supposed to wait in your yard this evening? Why Usami? 
I don't understand what this guy is thinking at all, but I can guess why you called. You want me to take care of the money? I see. Did you call the police? And almost a scream. Huh? Did something else happen? I have a bad feeling about this. What was inside? Tsubaki spoke as softly as the buzz of a mosquito. It was almost inaudible. A photo? Yes, so that's exactly what he's saying. But hair isn't such a big deal. I thought that it would be a finger or something. I got it. I'll try to work things out on the money side. Tomorrow. Uh, wait, today I guess. We need 50,000 shares by this evening, right? To do that, we'd need 51,000 share stock certificates. We need to make the purchase before noon, but can we even get 50,000 shares? I'm pretty sure you'd need more than 50 million yen. I'll go ahead and check Shiratori Construction's closing price from last weekend after this call. But yeah, including broker fees and miscellaneous charges, 50 million probably won't be enough. Wow, to have such a huge family and still maintain this amount in savings means he's really been working hard. Got it, then we'll just have to get 50 million. It shouldn't be a problem, I already brought it up yesterday. No, from a branch company of my father's. If we barge into a bank and ask for 50 million yen, there's no way we'd get the money, especially not before noon. However, it would be possible if the police were there. Alright, I'll be over in a bit. Please have your father prepare the deed and his seal. I finished it in one breath. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this is the only way. 50 million isn't a small sum. If you don't put up any collateral, you won't be able to get the loan. The land will belong to your lander. Tsubaki interrupted me. Yes. I can't imagine how uneasy that would make her. Well, if you loaned money to someone else, but they couldn't promise that they could pay it back, would you still give them the money? <laughs> I'm digging my own grave here. Tsubaki would loan money to people sleeping on the street. Don't worry about it. This is all such a shock. I'm sure you're panicking right now. I went straight to the point. Anyway, it doesn't need to be asked whether you would choose your land or your brother's life. You can't buy a life with money after all. It wasn't a line that came easy to me. Ah, you have to contact me by 7 in the morning at the latest. If you're any later than that, I can't guarantee that I can get the money. No problem. She's probably smiling on the other end of the line. The call disconnected. I don't feel any emotion. The development of the Eastern District is an important job entrusted to me by the Sano Corporation. That's the only thing I should think about. But still, stocks. I should go and ask someone who's familiar with it. Hello, this is Azai. I'm sorry about calling at this time. Yes, I wanted to get your input on something. The moment I mentioned Shiratori construction, his reaction changed. It's best to avoid it? Hmm, ah, yes. The price is going down. You don't know the reason? Ah, so if the price drops anymore. 
In this case, getting 50,000 shares isn't going to be hard at all. Thank you very much. Yes, father wishes the best for you as well. Still, I wonder what's going on with Ishiratori construction. The Ishiratori girl's face flashed before my eyes. That arrogant attitude, that forceful demeanor and those pleading eyes. It has nothing to do with me. I walked back into my study. In the end, Tsubaki accepted my help. After putting the lad and his son's life on opposite sides of the scale, her stubborn father finally gave in. Ever since this morning, I've been running around gathering the money. The 50 million was received effortlessly. I had talked to Gonzo beforehand, told him my plans, and the collateral was accepted without a hitch. Tsubaki's father took the borrowed 50 million and the Miwa family's entire savings and put it all in a newly opened account at the stock exchange. The certificates for the 50,000 shares should be delivered before evening. On the way to Tsubaki's house, my headache struck once more. Maybe it's because I'm working too much. And now we are Mao again, I guess. Hmm? Uh, what? I'm fine. Do I not? My soul was pawned off a long time ago. Everything is going according to plan. The ransom must be delivered successfully. Damn it, Usami. I won't let you interfere. Six o'clock rolled around. In accordance with instructions, Usami was standing in front of Tsubaki's front door. How am I supposed to know? I'm curious myself. Usami looked around, so anxious that she couldn't sit still. Who cares? I know I'm being persistent about this, but I'm here to keep an eye out for police. For instance, if some of the neighbors grew suspicious, there would be a change that they might call the authorities. I pretended to chat with Usami while on alert for an unmarked police car or a detective on a stakeout. What? Our future together? I was just joking, but Usami's face turned darker. That's exactly why I'm acting like this. If we were depressed, how would she get through this herself? Sorry that it wasn't funny. まあいいです。ところで、魔王はどうして身代金を現金ではなく株券で要求してきたんだと思いますか。Wait, <coughs> did you just say Mao? Hi. The kidnapper is that Mao? おそらく. Any evidence? 犯人は次の指示を私の携帯電話に入れてくると言ったそうじゃないですか。Interesting。私が携帯を持っていることを知っているのは魔王だけです。Hmm, not bad at all. I spoke feigning disinterest. I know too, you know. Eh? A stupid look surfaced on her face. The fact that you have a cell phone. Is your mind somewhere else today? Didn't you have a warm up with Mao a couple days ago? You told me yourself. Are you listening? As she nods her head, her piercing eyes let loose a bizarre gleam. Um. I know what Usami wants to say. This woman is something else. Are you trying to say that I'm Mao? Oh,いえいえ。そんなつもりじゃないんですよ。例えば、こちらが気づけない位置から望遠鏡か何かで探られているとか、そういう可能性もありますからね。Hey, don't we have an agreement to never suspect each other? ええ、もちろんです。アザイさんは潔白ですよ。Despite what she said, I can only take this to be her suspecting me. しかし、魔王って学園生じゃないかなとか、ノリで思うことあるんですよね。Oh. 
あくまでノリですけどね。You mean there's no evidence? ええ。誘拐電話も夜にかかってきたそうですし、私と軽くやり合ったのも日曜日でした。<笑> That really is a wild guess. Wouldn't Mao have a similar schedule if he was working an office job? ああ、そっか。それもそうっすよね。しかも魔王は金持ちですもんね。This girl. 人を使って、街の至るところに落書きを残したり、ヒロアキ君を誘拐するのにも、きっと車を使ったでしょう。さらに言えば、身代金を株券で要求してくるあたり、相場の知識もあるみたいですしね。そんな学園生、いるわけないですよね。<laughs> I can't help but laugh. どうしました何がおかしいんですか No, no, I was just thinking that you, Usami, are a very interesting person. マジっすか自分人に褒められるの慣れてないんで、あんまり甘やかさないでもらえますか I was reminded of the reason for my desire to thoroughly crush her. Can we get back to the main topic? Oh, はいはい。身の代金を株券で要求してきた件ですね。What do you think? So. Don't feign ignorance. You must have seen something in it. Let me see just how good you are. Mazu kangai ra reru no wa. Mochi hakobi ga kantan da kara de shou. Gen kin de gosen man da to. Ichi man esats ga gosen mai mo hitsio desu. Kere do. Kabu ken nara tatta no gojou mai ni shika nari masen. With only a few exceptions, stock certificates come in units of 1000 shares. If we have 50,000 shares, then there are only 50 certificates. Makes sense, since the guy is planning on taking the ransom and hightailing it out of there, he'd want the goods to be as light as possible. しかしですね。単に軽くしたいだけなら、他にいくらでも方法はあるはずなんですよ。For instance? ダイヤモンドのような、貴金属の類に変えさせるとか。Hmm. しかも、なぜ白鳥建設の株券なんでしょうね。Don't know. Maybe the criminal believes s h i r a t o r i construction stock will go up in value. u s a m i heaved a sigh. 妙なことはまだあります。たった一日で五千万円を工面させて、さらに夕方には株券に変えさせるというのも、椿家のような一般家庭にはタイトな要求です。犯人は、椿たちが株券を用意できなかったら、どうするつもりだったんでしょうねあるいは用意できるという確信があったのかどう思います I don't know. Maybe he thought that they'd try their hardest no matter what since their child is on the line. w i s a m i doesn't seem to agree. 警察が関与しているなら身代金の工面にも便宜を図ってくれたでしょう。しかし魔王は警察には絶対に連絡しないよう忠告しています。Obviously, not too many kidnappers want to, want to fight the police. Mazai san ga ina kereba, o kane no yoi wa muri datta de shou ne. Probably, the corporate must have thoroughly researched everyone connected to the family. Osami's eyes blinked twice, three times, and finally closed tightly. Mazai san, hm? Kore wa chokkan desu ga ne. She opened her eyes. Watashi wa, kono yukai jiken wa, watashi ni tai suru chou hats nan janai ka to o m o t e i m a s お、oh? 出なければ私の携帯電話に次の連絡を入れてくるという理由がわかりません。She's right. If he wanted to, he could easily confine his contact to the Miwa family alone. Well, it's about time for me to head out. 帰る Sorry, but I still have things to take care of. そうですか。いつ戻られます ?I've got things going on until tomorrow evening. それはもちろん、椿の危機よりも優先される用事なんですよね。Don't say it like that. Even if I stay, what can I do? わかりません。ただ、椿はアザイさんを頼りにしていますよ。No, right. Just contact me if anything happens. はい、真っ先に。I turned around. Usami kept her visual in front of the door, her thoughts racing. Okay, what needs to be done next? <laughs>